Your life doesn't begin in safety. It doesn't begin in warmth. It begins inside a pouch. Not your mother's womb, but inside the belly of your father. That's right. You're an egg, one of hundreds, transferred from your mother into your father's brood pouch. Inside, it's dark, cramped, and crowded. You're not alone. Siblings press against you. Hundreds of tiny eggs, each fighting for a chance to become more than just an embryo. The outside world is threatening, but you aren't aware of it yet. For the time being, you drift in fluid, being nourished, your small body developing slowly. Days go by. You grow eyes a tail, a nose. You're developing within a pouch that functions as a tiny womb. Oxygen, balance of salt, everything you require, your father supplies. But time is running out. He can't carry you indefinitely. And presently, your journey into the wild, cruel sea will start. Birth, the first moments. Then, suddenly, the world shakes. The pouch around you tightens, contracts. Your father's tiny body spasms over and over, each push expelling siblings. And then, it's your turn. You're jammed, pushed, shoved into the open water. Blinding light comes through the surface. You spin, helpless. No pouch, no safety, no family. Just the open sea. Hundreds of you spill out together. A shimmering storm of baby seahorses, each the size of a grain of rice. And here's the brutal reality. Nearly all of you will perish. In a matter of minutes, predators are lurking. Small fish, crabs, jellyfish, all poised to strike. Your siblings disappear one by one, gobbled up like floating crumbs. There is no mother to protect you, no father to direct you. As soon as you're born, you're alone. And the probability Less than one in a hundred that you'll make it through this day. From the very first breath, life sucks to be a seahorse. Childhood, growing up fragile. Visuals, baby seahorses clinging to floating debris trying to survive. You've made it through your first hours, your first day. Already you've eaten the odds. But survival isn't comfort, it's struggle. You attempt to swim, but your body is awkward. Other fish zoom ahead with speed. You stumble, carried wherever the current happens to be. A small leaf floating in a tempest. You can't outrun danger. You can't out fight predators, so you master the art of patience, clutching on to drifting grass with your small tail, attempting to camouflage, and then hunger strikes. But the twist is, no stomach. Food passes directly through you, so you're always hungry. You have to eat nearly non-stop. Small plankton, tiny shrimp, whatever floats near enough to vacuum up with your straw-like nose. But food is scarce, and death lurks everywhere. For each meal you catch, you wait for hours, hide, shake at shadows. And each moment you live, more of your brothers and sisters vanish. By now, there are only a few of you left. Childhood isn't play. Childhood is sheer survival. Teenage stage, finding place. You're bigger now. Not invincible, not safe, but bigger. Your armor plates harden, giving your body a bony shield. Still, you're painfully slow. Unlike other fish that roam the seas, you're trapped in small spaces. Patches of seagrass, coral outcrops. This is your world. A prison measured in inches. You don't migrate. You don't go a long way. The currents determine your your destiny. Drift too long, and you could be in the desolate open sea, with nothing to hold on to, nothing to feed on, no place to hide. You learn concealment. You excel at camouflage. You become one with the plants, swaying along with the grass, unless one looks carefully. Your survival hinges on being unnoted. But there are greater threats in the background. Not only predators, humans. Their nets sweep along the seabed. Boats churn above, ripping up the meadows you hold on to. Already, the world seems smaller, rougher, less merciful. And you're still a teenager, hanging on to survive. Adulthood, the struggles you you made it. You're grown up. In human years, perhaps two or three. In seahorse years, you're halfway through already. You know how to hunt. You know how to hide. You've weathered storms, currents, predators. But adulthood isn't liberty. It's redundancy. Sustained hunger. Sustained hiding. Sustained fear. Your world is riddled. Each day, humans shrink it. Nets sweep millions of your kind up. Used as medicine, decorations, novelties and marketplaces. Pollution taints the water. Coral reefs bleach white. Seagrass beds disappear. And yet you hold on. You persist. For survival is all you have ever known. Then something shifts. You have a mate. In this world of isolation, seahorses are paired off. You spin together in the water, twisting, tails wrapped around one another. For an instant, life is not so cruel. But reproduction, for you, is not pleasure. If you are male, pregnancy. Hundreds of eggs crowd your pouch, and now your delicate form is supporting life. You force oxygen, nutrition, blood, weeks of tension, and then the contractions. Hours of agonizing travail. Scores of babies pour into the sea. You see them carried off, aware that most will be dead by dawn. Parenthood is not coaxing, it is tragedy. Each delivery is a painful reminder of how delicate existence really is. Old age, the decline time goes by. You've outlived the odds. You're older now, slower. Your body grows weak. The currents that pushed you along now pull you down. The grass you hold onto is harder to grasp. Your vision dims. Hunting becomes laborious. Predators smell weakness, and you know you don't have many escapes remaining. The world changes around you faster than you can adapt. The reefs are less filled with sound. The meadows are thinner. The ocean seems less full. Old age, 
cage for a seahorse isn't rest. It's waiting. Waiting for the wave, the predator, the storm, the net that finally ends your fragile hold on life. Death. The final drift. One day, your tail slips. You can't hold on anymore. The current takes you, tumbling you into the open blue. Perhaps a fish swallows you whole. Perhaps a storm rips you asunder. Perhaps you drift slowly down into the depths. No one grieves. No one recalls. The sea continues on. From before you were born until your last gas. Your life was tenuous, ephemeral, and struggled for every second. So when folks look at a seahorse and say, Wow, how magical. How pretty they're not mistaken. But beauty conceals truth. And the truth is, it really, really sucks to be born a 